Hey folks, I'm Amir Zaburagawa from Algorithmy Academy. Let's continue introducing Scylla. Check this out. First, let's look at some basic but powerful features in Scylla that can help you write cleaner and more efficient code. Have you ever forgotten to remove unused variables or functions from your code? Scylla-N can help you identify and remove them easily. Simply write your code as usual and Scylla-N will highlight any unused variables or functions, allowing you to keep your code clean and efficient. Look like this. I define a variable which is unused and it highlights and even if I set it somewhere it still highlights it because it says that local variable x is only assigned but never accessed so I can easily remove it like this and like this Tricky note here is unused variable is a sign that you missed something or you've used another vari variable instead by a typo. When you need to quickly define a function that you've used, Scylla-N offers a handy shortcut. Place your cursor on the function decoration, press Alt and Enter, and select Create Definition. Scylla-N will automatically generate the function definition for you. Look like this. So it says that it's not decorated. And I say, okay, let's decorate this function. Like this. Need to rename a variable or function across your entire code? scylla makes it simple. Select the variable or function, press Shift and F6, and enter the new name. Scylla-N will update all instances of the name through your code, ensuring the consistency. Look like this one. So this variable is used many times in my code, and I change its name to ADJ and look that's it changing the structure of a function is a straightforward with line you can quickly refactor a function by selecting it pressing ctrl f6 you can add remove or modify function parameters like this i'm adding a new parameter name z easy as this. Defining custom operators can be useful in competitive programming. To do this in Scylla-N, declare the operation in your class and use ALT and ENTER to generate its definition. Scylla-N will help you manage and organize these custom operators efficiently, like this. Here we have a struct point and I want to generate like relation relational operators to generate like this for me. So all the operators are generated very fast, easy and efficient without any bug. To find where a variable or function is used through your code, place your cursor on it and press Alt, Shift, and 7. C-Line will show you a list of all usages, like this. I can check out where this variable is used. In the first part, we've seen how to put multiple cursor 
by keyboard. Now consider the case where you want to add multiple cursor at some specific position in some consecutive lines. Check this example. Next, let's talk about C-Line Tidy, a powerful tool integrated into C-Line that helps you write better code by enforcing coding standards and detecting potential errors. C-Line Tidy comes with a lot of checks, like this. You can see a lot of these checks here, some of them integrated into C-Line. Let's cover some of the most useful checks. C-Line Tidy can help you catch implicit conversions from long line to int, which can lead to data loss. It will highlight these conversions and such as corrections to ensure your code is safe and accurate, like this. Look, it gives us a warning. When you pass large objects by value to functions, it can lead to unnecessary copying, which impacts performance. C-Line Tidy will suggest passing parameters by reference instead, reducing memory usage and improving efficiency. Look like this. Suggest me to change this string to const reference. C-Lang Tidy can suggest replacing traditional for loops with range-based for loops, like this code. It suggests me to change it like this. Finally, let's look at how to redirect input, a common practice in competitive programming. You can redirect input from a file and have it always open. Then you can use alt and arrows to switch between your code and the input file, like this. I have a simple code here, which reads input from this file. So when I run it, it produces the answer. So I can switch from code to input, by using alt and arrows and to set reading from a file what you need to do is just checking this checkbox redirect input from some file like in.txt or input.txt don't forget to like share and subscribe for more tutorials happy coding and good luck in your content